Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You know, one thing that's really become clear to me as I've traveled the country the last couple years here for our Machine Repeat TV show and also for our weekly segments uh, on the road with Machine Repeat for U.S. Farm Report, we've stopped and visited with farm equipment dealers all over the country. And we have uh, in-depth visits with them. And one of the things, again, that comes shining through is the challenge they have finding good people to help them with the technology side in terms of precision agriculture. And recently I was up in Jamestown, North Dakota visiting with the uh, with the good folks at Valley Plains Equipment and I had the opportunity to sit down and visit with um, their integrated solutions manager at their Jamestown, North Dakota office, Andrea Fayville, and shot a little video and it was so fun to talk to Andrea. She has an unusual background. She was an accounting major and it was interesting to get her viewpoint on possibilities in the field of precision agriculture and technology working for farm equipment dealers. Uh, Andrea grew up on a family farm and just very, you know, an exciting career path and Andrea is doing a great job there. Now here is that video I shot with Andrea right now. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm in Jamestown, North Dakota today and I'm with Andrea Favell. And Andrea, thanks for visiting with us. No problem. And we're here with uh, Valley Plans Equipment. And uh, what is your uh, your title here, Andrea? My, my title with the dealership is Integrated Solutions Manager. Okay, so you're kind of right in the technology sweet spot here with, in yes. the farm equipment business. All the technology in the cab, that's where we're focused at. Now, Andrea, uh, um, interesting background. You, I believe you told me you were actually an accounting major. Yes. In college. Yep. So tell us, how did, you, how did you wind up in the farm equipment field? Sure, so I grew up on a family farm that had mainly small grains and then soybeans and, and corn. Okay. And I always told myself growing up that that was not gonna be where I was focused. I was thinking I'd go work for a big company that focusing in accounting, but not related to ag at all. Okay. Um, I spent some time intern with an internship program with the dealership. It just happened to be that they were hiring and I thought, you know, I'll just try it. I'm always in there for parts for dad anyways, I'll, I'll swing in. And I spent about three weeks with the accounting department and decided that that was not at all <laughs> what I thought it was. Okay. Um, but the, the business and accounting degree really helped me tie together what was happening in the de dealership from the customer standpoint and the dealership standpoint. So they were fortunate enough to see that I definitely enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one with customers interaction there. So they said, hey, let's throw you in the integrated solutions role. Okay. I knew absolutely nothing about the technology on the okay. farm. And so that was an interesting transition for me, but it ended up being something that I picked up on really easily. I really liked dealing with customers, even when they were, were super frustrated that something sure. wasn't working and that became my go-to position that I wanted to stick with. Okay, well, that's interesting. So, um, now, how, how long have you been here with Valley Plains? Five okay. years. Five years. Five okay. years. And you started with them interning in college? Mm-hmm, yep. Okay. Um, and your family farm you grew up on, was it right around the Jamestown area? Yeah, we're about 30 miles west of Jamestown. Okay. So for me, driving to town every day has just been a normal part of life. Okay. So, at the customer level, you can definitely relate uh, growing up on the farm and that yes. you know things break down you need answers and fix I mean that's got to be very helpful I would imagine yeah it, it actually I always joke that the hardest customer that I have that gives me anxiety when they call when something's not working is my dad ah, <laughs> be nice. because I know where I've been at the patient's level because I can relate sure. to it having ran equipment since I was 11 okay. that when things aren't working it's a, a bad day and the last person you want to call is to have to call somebody and tell you what you're doing wrong because right. you've been doing this forever and so it's, it's a great time for me that I, I know exactly what sure. they're feeling. Well, that's interesting, Andrew, you're talking about the, the human interaction on, on this, uh, you know, the IS side, the technology side, when something goes wrong and they need your expertise at the dealership here. Uh, how key is that to, to have the right person, sure. uh, you know, dealing with the uh, with the customer. It is absolutely vital because you need to have the personality that one doesn't make them feel bad for having to call you. You don't want to make them feel like, well, 
I'm dumb, I couldn't answer that in 30 seconds, and she can. Right. And you also need to have somebody who doesn't take it personal because when they call, they may or may not be in the right state of mind to say, hey, how's the weather? It's more of a, why doesn't this work scenario? Right. And, and it's, so you have to be able to not take it personal and then have that, that um, I don't know, just the human interaction where right. things click. So with an accounting background, <laughs> how did you innately have that ability to... I have always enjoyed working with people since, for as long as I can remember, I've always been a people person and that, I don't know why, I really liked the numbers side of things, okay. so if you were to have been anybody that I was around and when you found out I was going for accounting, they just said, that nah, doesn't seem like the typical accountant, but I said, nope, that's what I'm going to do, and lo and behold, that was not the right place for me to be. I needed to be out interacting with people and okay. problem solving. Well, how about uh, being a young woman in the farm equipment and the technology side here, Andrew? What, your, your four or five years you've been in the business here, what, how has that been? It has been interesting because I tell you what, the customers don't care if you are male, female, purple, green. They just want somebody who they can interact with, who can help them. Um, it has been nice. There aren't a lot of lines for me when I go to meetings. Since there's not a lot of females in this role, so that's always nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's fascinating, Andrea. And you're, I can tell from, from talking to you, you, you're passionate about, about what you do and you're, you're enjoying uh, your job. What, what do you like most about it? I think I really like the people interaction, obviously, is a mm -hmm. go-to for me, but every spring and every fall, there's new challenges, new technology that comes out. And so I like that it's always evolving and changing. Um, none of us like change if we don't have to go through it. but. Sure. In this role, it's been something that I realized the changes for the better in the long run. It might have a lot of hiccups, you know, right then and there, but right. it it always ends up being for a grander purpose, and that's the piece of that that I really enjoy. And as I look back at people that I graduated with, I would have never guessed in a million years I'd be where I'm at. So, a job in agriculture with a dealership that I would have never guessed, and I can't advocate enough to people who listen to me that that you really need to look at that because. I would have never guessed this was right in my own backyard. I would have moved right. out of Jamestown and away from it, mm -hmm. thinking I was chasing this big company, and it was right here and ready for me. Yeah, I mean, cutting edge things you're doing here at Valley Plains Equipment, uh, HR wise, technology wise, service wise. Gosh, even today, we we're here filming and uh, you're tearing down an old store, you have a new facility. Yep. Um, so, yeah, what? So, you were an accounting major. Uh, what would you say to young people, Andrea, maybe that grew up? on the farm and I struggle to, to picture a future sure. uh, farm related career. I mean, what, what advice would you give to those folks? You know, I have had a lot of people ask me if I regretted going to school for an accounting major and not focusing on something more in the egg industry. And all I can say is, is that any degree, any education that you can get really sets you up for the long run because it, it creates a, a tie into the world that you didn't know you'd need. Mm -hmm. and I, for a while, thought, man, I guess I should have maybe went somewhere else and, and focused something more specific to egg, but I'm really glad that I didn't because that gave me the opportunity to talk to growers who their family went to school and then they came back to the farm and none of those things are to be taken for granted. So the one thing I can say is go get education in something. Even if at the time you're not sure what you're doing, yep. that's okay. That's really okay. okay. And how about specifically in the field you're in, Andrea, you know, integrated solutions for deer technology with all the farm machinery. Uh, the field is exploding. Um, is it difficult to find good help? It is. It is extremely hard to find people who are interested in this field. Um, I think the most difficult part about that is the intimidation factor with I don't know anything about deer technology. Sure. I like technology. I like I like my computers. I like phones. I like that side of it, but I, I don't know anything about that. All of that can be trained to the right personality. Mm. If you like working with people and you like the egg industry, you can learn all the tools of the trade and be successful at it. Wow, that was very powerful. And uh, yeah, so you uh, young folks listening out there, a great example here with uh, Andrea Fayville with uh, Valley Plains Equipment. Andrea, thank you so much for telling us about uh, what you do and, uh, how, and your awesome career path. Thank you, I appreciate it.